Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Eric at Covenant of Love, and this is a response video to Bill's uh, minute and a half clip that he just spent the whole day trying to upload. Um, I don't know if he's insinuating violence or his turf. At this point, I, I would just call yourself esoteric entertainment, and I mean that sincerely. Bill, you got a knack for entertainment. I had nothing to do with real information. Uh, you know, you know who actually has some good stuff is, is David 113 113 113. People forget. See, I don't forget videos. I remember him writing down, you know, because he's got grandfathers and stuff that are in, you know, lodges or whatever. But he did some really bitching. Uh, he showed me some really good stuff in some of his earlier videos that I had watched. So, he, you know, he's pretty knowledgeable on esoteric knowledge. Bill, I think you've run your course. It's time to just go all out into entertainment. Don't lie to people and try to say you're spreading the truth. Um, there's real things to worry about, right? Okay, we've got drones, okay? We've got drones from what? Uh, large model plane type, I mean really large model planes, to uh, hornets now from Israel that have poison da you know, darts, to microscopic you know, to nanotechnology machines that are full working machines. We have fluoride, we've got uh, bad water, we've got, uh, you know, this metallic spray, we've got modified food from Monsanto's, we've got the eugenic stuff going on that used to be called eugenics, now it's echo science. Um, I'm gonna do Two, uh, I'm going to do another response video, which is going to take me a little more time, but I'm going to have to show you uh, that I, I, I've already talked about all the stuff, some of the stuff that they put out on Let's Get Free Now today. Bill was talking about the Nazis. Um, it's He's really working with stuff that's already very common knowledge, and almost all of us that are into this stuff already know. And these aren't catchphrases for you, Spacey, if you're still watching my stuff. Uh, these are reality. So I've talked about all this other stuff. People were laughing at me, I, you know, when I was talking MK Ultra, and I'm showing people, you know, the Congress um, hearings on it, you know. Uh, even when I showed them the Congress hearings, it wasn't real. Uh, we've got uh, food that's dying out everywhere. We've got Louisiana where they, where they purposely let out all that oil, um, <clears throat> undermined that whole salt cavity under there and made a, a brand new uh, uh, earthquake uh, fault all the way up through the Mississippi into Canada. Uh, we've got uh, poisonous algae. We've we've got um, bird flu. We've got vaccinations that nobody should be touching. There's so many things that Bill could be telling you about that is in reality. We've got uh, looked at yesterday. The the Marines are now making police battalions. Something is coming up, friends. Uh, international gun treaty. They're literally going to undermine your constitution. If anybody looked at the pre-impeachment trial of Bush. Uh, which I filmed on 8mm, I have it, uh, CNN, I, I believe now their archives are open and you can look at that. But uh, the bottom line is they subpoenaed all of them and they didn't show up either. There's a whole thing that, uh, and, um, darn it, what's her name? Oh, the woman from Canada talked about it, but if you're part of a society, in other words, the world is considered a society, right? But if there's societies that are outside of our society, they're not legally responsible. Uh, we can get into all sorts of stuff all day long that would, which actually would help elevate the mind. Okay, not the purple, you know, juice. I know the children were killed. I saw the turn, you know, the the polygons around there. I get the whole spiel, but he's he's, it's an it's just for, it's entertain. Anybody that's reading and looking at this stuff, it's entertainment. Okay, one of the ones I, you know, come on, brother. Okay. I gave you what I said was the pre-Masoretic text. You can't even find that on, on uh, Google. You can't even Google it, okay? Maybe now you can, and maybe after this video. I mean, I put a video out to show you. You couldn't Google it at the time. Wikipedia wasn't even showing it, okay? It shows you the two dialects, the two different uh, Hebrew nations, okay? The Israelites and, and the Hebrews, however you, however you want to word it. I'm dealing in kind of heavier stuff than you are, Bill. Uh, you, you keep laughing at me. Uh, you know, Eric, uh, you know, gets 45 by adding up 126 times, or stupid shit like that. Or he didn't do geometry. He, he got the pre-algebra. You know, you're always trying to make it sound like I'm some kind of fucking retard, which is fine. 
be people that be little people have ego problems. I don't mind that you have an ego problem. I still love you, Bill, and I'm still trying to be here for you at, with a covenant of love. Um, regarding me, one has become a mouthpiece for one of the ones. Okay, she uploaded three videos where you could tell if you listen to her, she's a spacey chick. Um, she is very suggestible, and uh, one of the ones is is very good at the Bible, but he's 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 not looking at any of the literature around it. You know, secret origins of the Bible, secret origins of the Bible, great book. Guy may be an atheist, but he's going to teach you how to look at literature, how to decipher uh, vowels from consonants, all these things that you need to know, how to date a piece of work by things that they mention in it. When they mention certain kings that weren't even there for 400 years, they date the pieces of the literature. Okay, there are ways to see your way around what they've added. Uh, I looked at some, you know, and at this time I'm starting to look at Hebrew scholars and scholars of... Um, you know, I don't have any hate. I don't hate anybody. So when I say, uh, you know, I'm looking at Hebrews or I'm looking at Hindus, I'm open-minded and non-judgmental. I will keep looking until it's either disproved or proven true. That's what I'm going to do. So uh, Melchizedek, some of the stuff I'm looking at says that if you really get into the old literature, these are people that read Hebrew. It's the word Melchizedek isn't even in there. So they've created a piece of work and they've molded it and they're molding your mind. Now that isn't to say that the word of God isn't true, but if you want to be serious about it, you, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Um, I would say you need to you know, be able to speak like six or seven languages, decipher Sanskrit, decipher all these different uh, dialects. Uh, look at the plagiarism that's involved through Sumeria, Mesopotamia, uh, you know, Babylonia. Uh, I told you I found a book, or uh, I read a book uh, on Chicago, where I guess Chicago University put out a book, uh, all the all the knowledge of the world or something. And, and at that point, and the book was like 110 years old, but at that point, um, uh, Babylonia or Mesopotamia and the Hebrews were the the only two societies, the oldest two societies at that point. There's a lot to look at. There's a lot of things that maybe you could be a lot smarter than just looking at this guy and and you know is, is abundantly cursing you know i curse but um there's a certain vulgarity in which he does it and i if that's what you're into man that's what you're into but as far as bill one of the ones seek uh who else who else is affiliated man? at this point dave david uh truth or see i'm gonna leave out because uh I think when he points out the dualism in which he is talking about, he's talking about the dualism that they're teaching you, not necessarily this is what you need to believe in. I think in some aspects, both him and I understand that God is unknowable and unnameable and that he's everything and that if you just keep searching, you're going to keep finding knowledge. God is, is, is an essence. It's a spirit. It's an energy. Uh, there's stuff that Galactic Wacko, he, he's found a very interesting uh, gentleman that uh, is reading from what he says are the oldest known New Testaments where he's reading Greek and stuff. Very interesting stuff. This this is not a, a game. This is not a show and tell. This is very serious business, okay? This pedophile ring, okay? The Romans, you know, uh, you know, men are men are for fun, women are for babies. That was one of their sayings. There's things that you can get into that you can start to see the reality that's surrounding you. Uh, when you find that the Star of David is is heavily present uh, with the Danish and the Swiss and these different gentlemen, there's a gentleman I have on my site that shows you uh, the, the people that invented the word KK, that what the KKK means who, you know, what the purpose of it was. And I'm not gonna tell you who he is, go look on the site, go look at my featured channels. Those people have very good information. Uh, some of them just thought provoking, other of them just, you know, damn man, this is some serious information. I'm just, I'm tired of, of this junk. It's kind of stupid for me. Um, I want to have a sense of humor about it. I'm going to. I'm going to do some of the stuff I said I was going to do on Bill. I'm going to do it regardless if he, you know, comes here and, and does what he said, you know, shoot me or whatever. Uh, for the haters, another another person keeps coming on. You're the same dude. And you try to incorporate my family or who they're doing or who I'm ignoring or what I'm doing. It's none of your fucking business. Stop dwelling on my life. Okay? Don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for yourself. 
okay? If you're not prepared for what's coming, you're gonna get a rude awakening, and I spoke the truth, okay? Maybe this is, maybe I should worry about the millions. You started with 200,000 biological coffins. It's up to a million, okay? Tons of FEMA camps, fully operational, fully manned. They're advertising for more people. We got strange things going on the border that are Chinese and supposedly there's all these like 10,000 tanks over there. I could get into a lot of things that I read about, okay? This is, this is what you gotta get in your head. The pre-impeachment trial of Obama has started and it has not been televised at all, okay? If you're not on the internet, you are not even hearing about this stuff, okay? Uh, wh what happened to all the legal things that they filed on him a year ago? Okay, they keep giving you all these drama stories, okay, but nothing's going anywhere, nothing's happening, the machine is moving on, you need to understand, the machine is moving on, okay, the guy that invented the, the, the vaccination, right, this, this vaccination, or not the vaccination, but he, he, he created the first uh, artificially intelligent, but they're saying intelligent computer cell, they dumped 80 tons into the ocean, it's killing people in Louisiana, big holes, nervous disorders, right? That's That gentleman went on CNN and talked about putting it in the tip of, of vaccinations to put a machine in you, a, a living entity made from a machine. Okay, I mean, do you get the, what's happening? Okay, uh, the chip, they have the chip now that can read from 18 feet away where they can just scan you. They've got the brain scanning that they, you know, you can see uh, congressional here, not congressional hearing, but the uh, hearing to get the Supreme Court justices in, and the guy's talking about, uh, you know, the, our President Biden is, is sitting there talking to this guy that he's interviewing to become a Supreme Court justice, and he's like, "Mind, mind my words, you're gonna, you're gonna rule on mind, mind cops, where they're gonna scan your brain to see if you're gonna do something, and and pe chipping people, okay." The society has come to the point where it's coming to a head, regardless of all this star worship. Because I don't worship the stars, okay? The knowledge is understanding where I'm at, okay? We're spinning. We're spinning on Earth. Everything around us is spinning. We're in, we're in the universe, and I'm right here, and I'm right now. And, and, and I'm going to speak the truth, and I'm going to speak my opinion, and I'm going to be real until I can't be. And, and until one of the ones stops lying, and until Bill stops trying to lead a bunch of people astray, until all these church leaders are proven to be what they are, and I'm not gonna go into it, because you should know that they're all part of something. That's all I'm gonna say. Everything around you is a prop. You are in a TV show. That's reality. For all these psychologists, I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck what a psychologist says, because I've read the books to find out where psychology came from for today's psychology. Okay, I've read the Kenzie report. I understand the, who they brought over here. I understand the, the uncaring of these individuals, the lack of human compassion that they have for us. Okay, do you get where I'm coming from? That's my research, the research into reality, and it's not pretty. So I don't stress about it, I don't worry about it. I got some other idiot at my work every day. Oh, there's Mr. Paranoid. He has, he, if I was to hold a bag of sand in his hand, he would not comprehend one grain that is in my mind. Not one grain. His mind is this little, and he only cares about himself. People are really petty. Bill, get over yourself, brother. Get over yourself. Toss Germany. Let's get free now. All you guys that are on this bandwagon, I'm the one talking real shit. Real shit. Why don't you respect me, man? Why don't you, why don't you privately message me and ask me what's up? Okay, there's no, there's no uh, Illuminati, Luciferian cop that's possessed by the demons. You guys are on some kind of wild, stupid TV show that has nothing to do with reality, and all you're doing is manipulating society and the people around you, and, and, and what bothers me is you're not even doing it for money. Something is going on with all of you, and we'll figure it out. We will figure it out, my friends. Be quiet. We will figure it out. Do you hear me? I hope you're having a good day, man. So when you say, hey, you know, uh, don't listen to Queenie Cameron, you guys are all flying around with all these stupid insults, okay? All of you. Oh, you're this, but you're pretending to be this, or you're that. Okay, we're at the level within the book knowledge that, <laughs> okay, like the word cursing or taking an oath. I mean, I can get into this stuff all day with you. 
we've already put on another video. If if King David David can make an oath, so can we, right? Because he was one of the chosen, right? All of you are misinterpreting everything that you're representing, and it's all bullshit. Okay. I I haven't heard one of you guys actually take something that she has said or 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 Chance has said and actually look at it and talk about it. It's the same with all the information I presented. So Knucklehead 101, he didn't go put out, well, Eric, I looked at this Masoretic text and because of this and this and this, I find flaws in it and it's bullshit. No, he jumped into the next weird, stupid thing that he's talking about and he never addresses the reality of the literature presented to him. That's what you guys gotta get, okay? It's a funny show. And the people that are susceptible, the people that are mentally weak, the people that are dronish, the people that are on too many meds, the people that need to wake up can't because they're they're seduced by this bullshit. And the only way to get out of it is to say, I want to wake up. I want to be more conscious. I want to be alert. I want to know what's going on. But not one of you do, man. All I do is go back to those stupid, stupid things, and I see your dumbass comments and... and uh, Oh, Queenie and Eric and Queenie. It's like being in elementary. Oh, Johnny likes Billy and Billy likes Bobby. You know, it's all fun. Are you guys serious? Dude, two thirds of the population is gonna be destroyed and all you guys do is talk about who loves who or who's with who or show some stupid one 1.50 minute video of, this is my turf now get out of here your turf is idiocy and entertainment and until you realize it you're full of shit and as far as i'm concerned you are full of dookie okay i don't take you seriously I definitely don't take one of the ones seriously locusts now these are the locusts man the locusts are going to be real locusts, and they're going to eat all the food, and there's not going to be any food, and people are going to starve to death. It's already started. They were, look, they control the weather. They're talking about the heat wave. They're making the heat wave, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? They're making this controlled weather. It's called HARP. Scientists and documentaries talk about it. You'd rather listen to one retard than go investigate for yourself. You're too lazy. Get up off of your asses because it's time. Anyway, this is a motivational speech by Eric of Covenant of Love. Uh, to everybody else, much love. The videos that I've been putting out, if you look at what's in the videos and you actually look at what's in there, you will find something. Uh, what's this other guy? Uh, another complete knucklehead who acts like he, he looks like he's on speed all the time. Uh, what the heck is his name? Oh, I got so mad with his response to one of my videos, I just didn't, never looked at him again. Me, uh, Metal Maid or Maiden, Maiden something, and he knows Queenie Cameron as well, Maiden something 84. So I send him Echo Homo. He gets a video, his response to me is, just cut it to me straight, man. Cut it to me, and I can see just the way he's talking, like he just had five cups of coffee. Cut it to me straight. What does this mean? Well, just just cut it to me and tell me, can you do what I do? And as soon as I heard the arrogant, that sentence, that arrogance, I knew that I had no business talking to him anymore. But let me tell you, that, that, that video, just the word Echo Homo, if any of you, not a single person has gotten back to me, look up Echo Homo. Why is it surrounded by science, mathematics, Saturn, the triangles, Egyptian? Look at all those pictures and tell me what you see. Because I'm getting tired of stupid people coming back to me saying stupid things because they don't see. And if you can't see, then you're the profane. And if you're the profane, then you don't need to know. And that's why I keep doing it the way I do it. Because if you're profane, it ain't none of your business.